Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Amche and I will be guiding you for a new learning experience about motion. So, let's learn and enjoy! Many things around us tend to move. Some move slowly like a turtle and some move fast like a bullet train. For today's lesson, we are going to describe motion when it comes to the distance and displacement taken by an object. Class. You are from different barangays around our school. What is the mean of transportation you take during class days? Yes, some of you walk, ride cities, or even ride your own bicycle. Are those activities in motion? Come on, let's find out! How can we say that an object is in motion? Look at this illustration. Does the boy acquire motion? Correct. What is your basis for saying so? Right. We can be able to tell if an object is in motion if it changes its position relative to our reference point. So, in our illustration, the boy is in motion relative to the house since it changes its position relative to it which serves as his reference point. A reference point is a place or object of comparison to determine if something is in motion. Take note that your reference point should be stationary and not moving along with the object. Examples, trees, houses, or any establishments, big rocks, statues, rivers, etc. We can now define what motion is. Motion is the change in the position of an object over a period. Now, let's try to describe motion by determining how far an object goes throughout its travel. We can identify how far the object travels in two ways. First, by measuring the total length or path taken by the object throughout its travel. Second, by measuring the shortest possible length or path of the object's final position and initial position. Let's have a short activity. Look at this illustration and follow the movement of the dog from its initial position up to its final position. Dog travels 20 meters east of the road, another 10 meters south, and 20 meters west. How far does the dog travel? Correct, it's 50 meters. The total path taken by the dog is called distance. Distance is the total length taken by the object all throughout its travel. Distance is a scalar quantity which means it doesn't require direction. The common unit used for distance is the meter. We can get the total distance through this formula. d sub t is equal to d sub 1 plus d sub 2 plus d sub 3 and so on and so forth. So going back on our example, the total distance is the sum of the lengths traveled by the object, which is the dog. What about the shortest possible path from the dog's initial position to its final position? Correct! That is 10 meters to the south. That value is the displacement. Displacement is the shortest possible path from the object's initial position to its final position. It is said to be a vector quantity, meaning it both needs a magnitude and direction. Its symbol is the letter D with an arrow above that indicates direction. Let us find out more about distance and displacement by examining this set of illustrations. Take note that the distance taken by an object is represented by broken lines, while displacement is the straight, solid line. Based on the illustration, how do distance and displacement differ? That's right! Displacement always follow a straight path, while on the other hand, distance could either follow a straight or curved path. Another question. When will be displacement equals to distance? Correct! If 
both of them follows the same straight path. Also, this placement could not be greater than distance since it is the shortest possible path from the initial position to the final position. What if the dog travels from its starting position to its final position and moves back from the start? What will be its total distance and displacement? Correct! The total distance is 20 meters. Displacement is zero. Why do you think displacement becomes zero? Right! There is no change in the initial and final position of the dog. For your practice, try to draw a road map from your house to your school. Include important landmarks along the way. Also, use blank ink and straight line to indicate your distance and red ink or broken line to show the displacement between your house and the school. Before we end our lesson, let us reflect on what we have learned by completing the prompt flash on the screen. That's all for today's lesson and I hope you learned something new. Again, I am Mam Sen, your science teacher. Thank you! Bye!